hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper this is your first time here welcome thank you for coming to hang out with me I hope you learned a lot from the video so I am going to show you guys what sold on eBay and it is a Monday so it's a lot All right guys so we actually have 37 items shipping out on ebay we did not have any amazon mercari or poshmark sales this weekend it's all ebay we have 1319 dollars going out on ebay so i am going to show you what's sold. so first up is this acrylic paint this was in a lot that i got from a ceramics auction just a plain acrylic this one sold for $8.09 plus shipping. The buyer's $14.05 in. I have pennies into this. It was in a big box lot of paints. So not too bad for that. About a $7 profit after fees. And then up next, we sold another scarf. So the scarves have been moving okay for us. And I actually picked up a couple from a thrift store this weekend so hopefully those sell as well so this one here is vintage bill blast i will show you the marking there so that was really easy to find it's just a plain green with a little bit of marking and i have about a dollar into this and it sold for six dollars plus shipping the buyers 9.95 in so all of these little sales add up and i am happy that's super easy to ship so no big deal there at all and then we sold another one of our vintage brochures and this one sold for ten dollars plus shipping 14.43 the buyers all in this is the old spanish trail national headquarters tucson arizona so i had a couple people ask for these i just will take like cardboard and i'll put it inside and then i cut it to size and put it in just a regular poly mailer so it's protected by the cardboard i do i do tape the cardboard around it so that it does not come out of there during shipping up next is this box of baseball cards this is 1991 complete set these sold for 16.50 plus shipping the buyers 27.40 all in this has a barcode so you could scan that or just search the 1991 edition upper deck so i bought a lot of these cards hoping to find some of the more rare cards but with the complete sets everybody knows what's in there and every card was in every set so that turned out not to be very profitable so i didn't even open them i just sold them as full sets like i got them and then i'll pop up here we did sell another set of five of the CPR mannequins. So these you might find at garage sales because if people are CPR instructors, they would have their old ones. I've heard of a couple people who did find them there. So we only have about $5 into these and they sold for $239.99 plus shipping the buyers over $300 all in. I have one complete set of five left and then I also have up replacement parts and for those I'm asking $50 a piece. So they look like the chest piece and the plate sell for about $50 by themselves which to me is crazy but I have about 30 of those so we are in some definite good profit on those. And then aww. Aww. And then up next, and I actually got this at the thrift store after I got my big lot of Hawaiian shirts. This one is super bright, super colorful, really pretty print there. And I had not heard of this brand. It is Alan Stewart. And his old polos sell his old polo sell for really high money. This shirt sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is $28.65 all in and i paid four dollars for that shirt at a thrift store so 
Up next, I guess we'll show you this hat that Dalton has here. You gotta hold it up. Well, mommy, see. This hat here is just a vintage ski hat. I don't. Oh, this one does have a tag. This one is. Stop. Liza's lids and this one sold for $26.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $28.61 all in. Hand mommy something else all the bag. Okay. Okay. Up next is this Vera Bradley purse. I have had this for a little while. I paid less than 50 cents in a pallet lot and this one sold for eight dollars plus shipping the buyer is fourteen dollars and ninety cents all in on that so a lot of your bradley still does okay i would recommend picking it up if you can find it for like a dollar or two the backpacks and larger travel bags i would pay up to five because those can sell really high this shirt i have had for a while i got it for 50 cents at a garage sale it sold for ten dollars plus shipping the buyer is $17.15 all in. This is the brand Croft & Barrow, which is an okay brand, and this is a 2X, so the bigger sizes tend to sell a little better. And I've sold quite a few of those since I picked them up. And these at a thrift store this weekend down in South Florida. I paid about $1.50 a box. And these two here, these are Revlon Ruderays. Sold for $17 free shipping. Hopefully they'll be under a pound. We can ship them out first class and we should make about an $8 profit on those. And then up next, and I've had this shirt for a little while. So I paid $3 for it at my local thrift store. It is Harley Davidson brand, but it's a Hawaiian shirt. So this one here is size large. I did put, um, pineapples because you can see it has pineapple it does say pacific harley davidson on it there and so i paid three it sold for 18 plus shipping the buyer is 29 dollars all in so that'll be a nice little 13 to 14 dollar profit on that all of these shirts are going to go into regular poly bags that aren't padded so they will ship out super easy so this hat is cockney rebels if you see there and this one i didn't even put the brand in because if the brand's not popular i'm not going to waste my keywords with saying that this one here has coyotes howling at the moon which i did put in my title this one sold for 18.99 free shipping and we paid about two dollars so this will be about a 15 dollar profit that one these are some hotel soaps these are paya I bought a large lot of hotel soaps uh, from an online estate auction. I'm not sure where they got them, but this, I have the bar of soap and the four little tubes and it sold for $17.54 plus shipping. I'm less than a dollar in. Up next is one of our shirts from the estate auction. <laughs> this is a really nice Aco Blue Water really pretty with the marlin and sailfish there and some bamboo and i paid about eight dollars for this in the lot it sold for 25 dollars free shipping will make about ten dollars on that and i just got this last weekend at a yard sale and i bundled so i probably have about two dollars in it's a really neat bamboo planter this one sold for 23.99 plus shipping the buyers 38.82 all in so this one is marked USA 4066 and I was able to research. I looked for this picture on Google Lens and I found out this is Shawnee Pottery. So that helped I think with the listing and it sold within a week. This is another item that sold really fast. I got it last week in garage sailing as well. This is a jug. This one is marked. RCP company, Akron, Ohio. It's a half gallon old um, moonshine jug, I think. So 
I paid $8 for this. It sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is $36.47 all in. Got this more because I think it's really cool. Um, so not a $10 profit, but I like to sell those. They're pretty neat. Up next is a vintage t-shirt from the estate hall. This one is Foxhead Lounge. Really cool graphics on that one. It is from 1999. And you know that because it says there's your bike week 1999. We paid a little over $4 for this. It sold for $17. Free shipping. We'll just go into a poly bag. Really easy to ship. It's a vintage FSU Seminoles clock. It is kind of worn, um, and I did show that in the pictures. It looks like it got some water damage, but it is still working. And this one sold for $8.99. Um, I didn't really notice all of the wear, so they paid $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $20.69. All in. Up next is this really nice suede Kenneth Cole purse. I've had this almost a year. I'm surprised it took so long to sell. It's really, really nice. Very heavy. And um, took forever. So it sold for $11.99 plus shipping the buyers $22.89. This is one of my favorite of the vintage t-shirts that we got. This is a vintage Panama Jack with the toucan there. And this is an extra large. There's the back. And this one is single stitch if you see there so single stitch means there's just the one line and this one sold for $35.99 the buyer is $39.41 all in because of tax it only costs about five dollars to ship so we'll make over a $25 profit on that shirt so if you see bright old vintage t-shirts I would pick them up up next, I'm going to pop this one up here as well. Um, if you guys see there, there's a box here. So the nice thing is I did source that off of Shop Goodwill. It is a alpaca rug. It's vintage. It's fur. It's a patchwork rug. And I paid 40 Some of them sell up to 200 but it's been sitting here about six months. So somebody sent me an offer of 55 I accepted nice thing is it's free box because I got it off shop Goodwill so I just put it back in the box they sent it to me in after I took pictures the buyer is 10375 all in on that rug up next is this guy Harvey shirt this one's really colorful I'll show you guys there this one is a pocket tee this one sold for $17 we're about four dollars in here's the pocket this is a size 2XL, so we'll make about a $10 profit on that. Up next is this really cool bowl plate. I did get this in an estate auction in a box lot. I have about $2 in. Sold for $26 plus shipping. The buyer is $43.37 all in. So there were no comps on this, so I just took good pictures. I priced it kind of high and sent an offer out for $26 from the send offers to buyers option. And the buyer is $43.37 all in. Up next, this is a vintage Carmark. I love this. This does still have the sticker there, Carmark Pottery. I got this in a box lot. I have about $2 in. Sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is $33.80 all in. So this one is also marked USA there. So if you don't have the sticker on it like I did, you can search Google Lens by photo and find it that way. Next is a Faltograph mug. This is folk art pattern. I did pay a dollar for this in a lot and this one sold for $6.50 plus shipping. The buyer is $17.92 all in. This one does have some crazing if you see there so you'll you want to mark in your description if items have that so not too bad on so that. this set i got in a box lot it's really cute wicker with the picture and i paid i think 12 dollars for the set plus other stuff and this one sold for 41 plus shipping the buyer is 51 48 all in so there's the picture and the care tape and then there are three little matching cups they are like the thick glass bottom barware so super cute set
Up next is this really cool Nippon. This is Gold Moriage, is what that's called there. Really pretty pattern with the turquoise and teal. So this is a creamer. It is marked. And this one's I got at the flea market for $5. It sold for $19 plus shipping the buyers $31.04 all in. So I love stuff like this. Really, really pretty piece. Up next or is another set of two bras. I got these in the QVC palette. Paid five. They sold for $14.57. Free shipping. Shipping will be about $4. So I'll make about a $5 profit on those. Up next is this vintage white milk glass hobnail ruffle. Small vase. Three inches really cute so I paid two dollars for this at a yard sale and sold for $7.50 plus shipping the buyer is $15.50 all in on up next is this Warwick little teacup here really cute I paid less than a dollar in a box lot it's got the pretty gold trim there it is marked made in the USA Warwick so paid I think a dollar um, really pretty pattern on the inside there and this one sold for $15 plus shipping the buyers $24.30 all up next and I think I'm almost out of these I bought a big lot of Martha Stewart craft punches so they do say Martha Stewart there so if you were out at a thrift looking some of these sell super high this one sold for $15 plus shipping the buyers $22.14 all in I know like the seahorse pattern will sell up to $100 and some other rare ones will sell that high as well. So keep an eye out. Up next are these two Beanie Babies. So this one is a Cracker Barrel one and then this one's a little happy birthday one. So these both sold to the same buyer, $14 free shipping. I paid less than 50 cents each. Shipping will be about $5. So I'll still make about a $7 profit on those. So I like when people buy a couple of things, especially if it's free shipping because it saves me money on that. I sold a lot of three CVS nasal mist for $13. If you don't know, we did get that in a palette about six months ago and we're eight cents in per can and shipping is $7.52. We do use the padded flat rate envelope. So we're still making about a $7 profit on that. And I sold the last of my painter's easel. I will pop a picture up there. I showed the box last time I sold it. It's a long, thin box, already boxed up. We just put extra tape on it and ship it out. So pretty easy, even though it's a really long box. So that sold for $30 plus shipping the buyers $61.83. All in. We paid seven for those and a lot at an online estate. I've sold the first and I will pop it up here. It is box. It's a vintage federal glass snack tray set. Super nice. This was in my big hundred dollar glass haul. I just did a video on last week. So I probably only have less than five dollars and there were tons of pieces in that and it sold for twenty six dollars plus shipping the buyers fifty six dollars and twenty one cents all in and I do have one more set of those left this i wanted to show you guys if you see here there are little wires there so that is called cloison and stuff with cloison sells super well so the the wire separates the different colors of paint so this is a cloison bell and this one i paid less than a dollar you can see the cobalt blue on the inside there and just remember to look for that wire separating colors and this one sold for $14 plus shipping the buyers $20 and 74 cents all in plays on sells really well so little wire remember to look for that and then we sold a pack of five CVS nasal mist for $20 so that'll be about a $10 profit on that one the three packs and the five packs both will fit in padded flat rate envelopes which is cheaper than shipping by the pound and that is going to be it so total of 37 boxes and 1319 dollars going out so i will see you guys next time.